So the Prophet ﷺ lived his life with a pure heart. With a pure heart, never held a grudge against people. And this is why he slept peacefully. He slept peacefully. When we talk about forgiveness, we think we're going to give away something that's important. We think we're going to compromise our rights. And we hold on to the grudges. We hold on to the pain. We hold on to the sense of revenge. We want to avenge ourselves. And we think we are doing well. But the hatred, the grudge that you hold against someone will burn only one person and that's you. Because when you hold to a grudge, when you hold to hatred and envy and anger against someone, you are creating or building a furnace in your chest that will burn your heart, burn your soul and also burn your body. In medicine, doctors will tell you that when you hold on to grudges, you will be destroying your body. Everything you will have, you will have high blood pressure. You will have joint pain. Your immune system will go down. Everything in your body will start to deteriorate because you're holding to a grudge. We humans are not designed to hold on to anger and pain and a grudge. So every night before you go to sleep, make sure, make sure that you free your heart from any envy, from every hate, from every anger, from every grudge you're holding on against any human being. So if you pass away that night, you would pass with peace and you would be getting so much reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You hold on to it and you are bound to destroy your health. And what's more dangerous than losing your health is losing your Iman and losing your connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because that grudge, that hate, that anger will eat up your heart and will leave no space, will leave no portion in your heart, no share in your heart for your Creator. Your sole concern would be to avenge yourself and retaliate. And this is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes the believers. He says, and they are the ones who suppress their anger. Suppress their anger. The scholars of Tafsir, they say, this is the lowest level. The lowest level is that someone angers you. Someone wrongs you. Instead of acting on your anger, you're full of anger. It's boiling within. You hold it back. That's the lowest level. Then Allah mentions a higher level. And the ones who can forgive people and pardon them. That means clearing their hearts from the grudge. Forgiveness is not a word. Forgiveness is a state of heart. It's a state of mind that you let go of the grudge. You let go of the anger. You free the person. You no longer hold anything against them. That's what it means. And to make what we're talking about practical, every day before you go to sleep, make sure that you clear your heart from every hatred and every anger. Forgive every person. Make it a point to search for a person who angered you, enraged you in your life, and you still hold a grudge, even if it's not something that usually pops up in your head, but you remember it from time to time. So make it a point to remember a person who really wronged you and you still hold on to that grudge. And say today, I will forgive that person. I'll forgive them from my heart. I'll just free them. I'll set them free. I'll get that memory, that recollection. I'll get it out of my heart for the rest of my life. And I will forgive that person forever. I will hold nothing against that person. I will let them go for the sake of Allah. Because I want Allah to look at me with an eye of mercy and forgive me.